Hi, so I'm going to go through uh, building um, PAL uh, for a new version of ODE that's just been released. So maybe it might not work, um, but maybe it will. So the first thing I did was download a new version of ODE um, and set it to being uh, creating a release DLL. Um, I did run pre-make before that, but that's uh, on the wiki. You can read how to do that there. Alright, so I'm just going to wait for ODE to finish building. Um, one of the other things I've already done, obviously, is download um, PAL from the SVN, and that's all up to date. So just waiting for ODE to finish building, and there we go. So we're done with that now. So here's my CMake, all ready to go. So I've set it up where the source code for PAL is, um, and I'm just going to hit the configure button. Yep, that's the compiler I'm using, so you can choose the one you want. I'm using Visual Studio 8 2005. So I press OK and CMake does a bit of thinking. Um, and then I can set the options for what I want. So typically um, I'll just turn most of these things on because I've got all of these installed. Um, if you don't have any of these physics engines or just a few of them, then you leave them as off. Um, but what will probably happen here is something will fail because I've got a new release of ODE and I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate a little bit of the problem solving that you'd have to go through. So I hit configure. Um, it goes through and it finds yeah, a whole bunch of bullet and havoc and IBDS is all good and jiglib and no legs. And of course it didn't find ODE and that's because, well, there's a new version of ODE. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and um, fix that problem now. So the new version of ODE that I've downloaded is 0 0.11.1, .1, so that's new. And in this CMake list, because uh, it's got all the different versions, so you search through this big long file until you find the relevant line. So in this case here now, I need to add ODE-0.11.1, that's the new release. So I'll save that, and there goes my phone. Okay, so I'll save that um, and jumping across again to uh, CMake, of course. So bring him back up, delete the cache, yes. Okay, I'm ready to try it again. So I hit configure again, uh, CMake does its thing. Um, Alright, now, so now I need to enable all those things again. So I want all of those things on. Yep. Okay, now hit configure. So with any luck now, um, we will have solved that, that problem that we had just a moment ago. And there we go, uh, CMake's found all of the uh, ODE components that were required. So note that I actually had to, before I did this video, compile the debug version of ODE. So you need to do both for everything to be found. I'm not sure why this problem happens, this seems to happen a fair bit, so we just have to copy and paste and the name of the library it's trying to find there is SDLib. So, okay, all good, it does that, check through everything and everything seems fine, um, fix up any problems that you might have, just confirm that SDL library, that shouldn't have this one in it, so hit that, alright. Okay, so again, a few people have noticed that, that causes problems, but now we've got hopefully all the bits we need for SDL. Hit configure, press OK, and so now it goes off and it thinks and it's generating some stuff. So now um, I should be able to find the build code somewhere. Um, so here we go, there's my solution. So I'm all ready to go now. Um, so let's go select release, uh, perhaps, build the ODE um, PAL version. So this is going through and building libpal, because uh, that's a dependency. So it's going through and hopefully compiling with no errors. Yep, um, going through, building ODE. Again, no errors, it's all good. Now the thing to note is that it's placed um, everything here in our release directory. So that's where our ODE DLL got copied to. That's where the libpal ODE that we just compiled got copied to. So if I build, um, well, uh, let's, OK, 
cancel that. I don't wait for it to build everything. So I'm just going to go to PAL demo. I'm just going to build, build, test, lib. And just for the purpose of this demonstration, I might um, disable all these dependencies here so we can just build this without needing to wait for all of those other physics engines to build. Alright, so off it goes. It's building some of these different demos uh, for the PAL system. Um, so when that's done, here we go. Two errors, that's, that's not good. Um, so, again, that's probably happened because of the SDL issue that we've ha been having. So, if I look through here, you can see that it's got the SDL lib, but it doesn't have the SDL main lib for some reason. SDL main. Alright, try that again. Alright, so now it links and into the release. Here we have the PAL demo. We can run this. Uh, the only engine we compiled was ODE. Just try dropping some objects and hooray, we can drop some objects down. Now, one of the most obvious things that people try is to, to build it and run it uh, straight out of there by pressing the F5 key. Um, if you do that, you're going to end up with this error. And the reason is because you haven't set the debug directory. So debugging, we need to set the correct working directory, which isn't the ODE, it's over here. It's our PAL release directory that we've just got. So that's where all the DLLs are living. So we need to point it to that position. So, all right, I place that as the working directory. So now if I press F5, again, ODE, and now uh, it sort of runs uh, straight out from there. Well, that's pretty much it. So I've shown you how to build PAL and sort of gone over some of the little uh, troublesome parts that you might encounter when you uh, do a new build or if, um, things have changed a bit. Otherwise, everything should pretty much work right out of the box. Okay, enjoy.